Hey guys, today we're gonna learn the science behind radar guns. So let's test one out. Woo, that thing's fast. A little while back, I got pulled over for speeding. I know it's not my proudest moment, but it did get me thinking about how radar guns work. So like any reasonable person would do, I made an impulse purchase on eBay and bought this bad boy. So now let's learn how it works. So radar guns use radio waves in order to measure speed. So these guns shoot out a radio wave at a particular frequency. With this gun, it's 24.125 gigahertz, or approximately 24 billion cycles per second. These radio waves will then bounce off the car or any other moving object, and then their frequency will be measured once they bounce back into the gun. Now you would think that the frequency would stay the same, but it doesn't. And this is due to the Doppler effect, which says that the frequency of waves will change if you're moving towards or away from a source, or if the source is moving towards or away from you. In fact, you've probably experienced it yourself. So you may have noticed that an ambulance or a police siren sounds higher pitched as it's coming towards you and lower pitched as it's moving away from you. And that's the Doppler effect. As sound waves move closer to you, they get compressed meaning that their wavelength gets shorter. And since frequency is the inverse of wavelength, that means the frequency get, gets higher, and the opposite occurs as you're moving away. Now this exact same thing happens with the radar gun, just with radio waves instead of sound waves. In fact, we can measure the change of frequency that the radar gun would receive. So the equation for Doppler shift is the change in frequency divided by the frequency equals velocity divided by the speed of light. However, we're not really recording radio waves being emitted from a moving car. We're recording radio waves that were transmitted from a stationary source and then bounce off the moving car and have to travel back. Because of this, we actually get two shifts. One shift is the radio wave moving towards an object coming closer, and the other shift is from the wave that is reflected off of the moving car. So to account for that, we throw two in front of the velocity because we only want to account for one of the shifts. Now, if we plug the numbers in for a car going 30 miles an hour, or about 13 meters per second, we get a shift of 2,154 hertz, which really isn't that much compared to the 24 billion hertz it started with, but the radar gun can detect it pretty accurately. Doppler shift is used in all sorts of other things as well. We have Doppler radars, which track weather and planes, and it's also used in astronomy, as galaxies or stars moving away from us will have a lower frequency of light and be red shifted, while objects moving closer to us will be blue shifted with a higher frequency. And finally, it's used in the medical field, to make ultrasound images, like the first picture of me that was ever taken. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can think about the science behind the radar gun the next time you pass by a speed trap. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks. Radar guns. So let's test one out. Whoa! <laughs>